Two sailors have died and six more have been injured after a Houthi missile attack on a ship off southern Yemen. And US officials have confirmed these reports. It is the first fatality of commercial ship crew since Houthis began launching strikes off the coast of Yemen last year. The latest victim of high seas Houthi hostile action in what was this time a fatal attack. The vessel, true confidence in better times, struck on the same day as the Houthis took on the US Navy and attacked one of its destroyers, the USS Kearney, with attacker bomb drones. With its Red Sea strategy clearly not succeeding in Washington, the US government had this response to the lethal attack on the unarmed merchant vessel. Today, the Houthis have killed innocent civilians by continuing their reckless attacks against international commercial shipping, which impacts countries throughout the world. These reckless attacks by the Iran-backed Houthis have not only disrupted global trade and commerce, but also taken the lives of international sea, uh, seafarers simply doing their jobs. We offer our condolences, obviously, to the families of those who lost their lives and again condemn the Houthis for these attacks. In a tweet, the British Embassy in Sana'a, Yemen, reported at least two innocent sailors have died, calling it sad but inevitable. Britain and America said airstrikes started six weeks ago would degrade and deter the Houthi attacks. In fact, they're getting worse. Since the attacks began, more than 40 ships have been hit or hijacked. But the last seven days have been particularly disastrous. The first to sink going down over the weekend with toxic fertiliser on board. Then an Indian vessel set on fire on Monday, and now the first fatalities. The Houthis appear to be running rings around US-British efforts to stop them. One of the world's busiest shipping lanes, now its most dangerous, where vessels and now lives are in growing danger, with no end in sight to the Houthis' aggression.